on a good bite right now. We are catching crappies as fast as we can throw out there. And this is this one of those times where, man, we just got it dialed in. <laughs> We're just dialed in. We're dialed in on the spot. We're dialed in on the depth. We're dialed in on the color. And we're dialed in on the presentation top to bottom. That's a great 10 inch eater size crappie. I'm gonna let him go. And then I'm gonna show you what it is that's helping me catch all these fish today. It's a real simple one. It's been around forever. And you know, if you don't have some of these in your tackle box, you're probably giving up a few fish. You're probably not catching quite as many as you could when it comes to crappie or, or pan fishing in general, bluegill crappie. That's Lindy Little Nipper. This little nipper's been around an awful long time and it's caught a lot of pan fish. Here's why it's so effective. It's available in a variety of sizes, okay? So you can get it from a really, really light 64th all the way up to some heavier sizes, which are gonna allow you to fish it in any situation that you wanna fish it in. Number two, it comes in a great bunch of colors and they're all designed for pan fish. I mean, you look at this one, when it comes down to it, that white with that white hair and that little bit of red thread wrapping that white hair, this is deadly when it comes to crappies, but it also comes in colors like pink and white. It comes in chartreuses. So all the right colors, all the colors you need to go out and catch fish. But one of the other things that I think is such a big deal is when a crappie or a bluegill sees that hair poofing down there, it grabs their attention. And they're a curious fish. Panfish by nature are curious. They'll sit and look at a bait a lot longer than say a walleye or a pike or a bass. It's not a reaction to them. For them, what it is for crappies and bluegills is they need to believe it's something they really want to eat. And that hair on that little nipper is the exact right length. It does everything you need it to do. And then you can fish it either bare, just like this, or you can fish it with a minnow, you could fish it with larva, wax worms, whatever it may be, you know, a night crawler, whatever your favorite bait is. These little nippers, man, I'll tell you what, they're hard to beat. This is what I tie on every single day when I'm out filming panfish. I mean, when we're out shooting fish head TV, this is what I'm gonna be using. I guarantee you, pick a few of these up at your favorite retailer and you're gonna The trout magnet has become one of the top selling lures around the country over the past 20 years. One of the biggest questions we have though is, how do we fish it? We know wherever we go, that if we use the system we fish with, we outfish everybody around us. So we want to teach you how that system works to help you catch fish on the trout magnet. The first thing you have to know when you start fishing the trout magnet is, we use two pound line on the entire spool. Two pound SOS was designed just for uh, fish in the trout magnet. It's a light line, but very strong. I catch giant fish in the two pound test. So you start with two pound line, then the next thing you have to have is a good light action rod, something with a good backbone. The SLS rod and the trout series rod that we sell has exactly that. It's a fast tip. It's not a noodle in the middle. Very important. When you're getting a reel, make sure you get a reel with a metal spool, open face, that has a good drag system on it. And make sure it's something that you can fish that light line on that's not a big spool. Uh, a 1000 series and smaller is perfect. The next part that's very crucial is the easy trout float. It's a very small float. It's got a slot in it. It makes it go on and off the line very easy. Once you get this setup done, this is the only thing you move as you fish. Now watch how easy this is. You take the easy trout float, you pull the little peg out, and you slide the float onto the line. The float now is just going through the big part of the hole, and I'll take the peg and pinch the float. Now it's stuck there. All I gotta do now when I go to different spots, pull the peg out, slide it up, and repeg it. Once you have your easy trout float on your line, you can tie your fluorocarbon leader to the main line coming out of your rod. Fluorocarbon is dense and clear in the water and helps the lure to fall more naturally, but more importantly, trout can't see it. Does this make a difference? Oh my, I would drive all the way back home today if I forgot this. You tie 18 to 24 inches of it on and take your main line coming out of your rod and your fluorocarbon leader and put the two ends together. Make a granny knot three times and tighten it down and you're ready to go. Once that 18 to 24 inches is on, you're ready to tie your trout magnet onto your fluorocarbon leader. First, you take your line and feed it through the eye. 
do not ever use a snap or a swivel with a trout magnet. It completely messes the action up and it just doesn't work. So take the, the trout magnet and feed it through the line like this. Now at this point, you can tie any line that's got a good twist in it. We like what we call the trout magnet knot. It's also called the Pitson knot, which is a very easy knot to tie and is very strong. Basically, in my right hand, I've created a gun. And uh, um, I run the, run the line through my fingers, down through the trout magnet, and up to the end. And if you notice, here's the end of the line right there. What we're going to do is we're going to spin the lure up over that tag end five or six times. Once it stops, in my right hand, I've created a loop and I hold it right at the base of that loop until I can feed the line end through that loop. Then I grab a hold of it. I pull it just tight a little bit, then I can let go of that tag end, and a lot of times I'll wet this right through here so it doesn't um, kink up, and I'll slide that knot down and tighten it up. Now I trim off my end, and I'm ready to go. Once your trout magnet is tied onto your main line, you want to make sure that the body is perfectly on straight. So here's how that works. The trout magnet's got a split in the tail, the body has a split in the tail. What you want to do is you want to take your hook and your body and you want to run the hook right through the center of that body and out the split of the tail. Once it comes out the split of the tail, if you push it up, it should look straight. If it does not look straight, re-thread it and put it back on. Now we're set. We set our drag because we have two pound lines, we can pull it out. And now with this trout magnet system, you're ready to hit the stream. Now the next thing we want to do is show you how to read the water. Check this out. As you look at the river, you'll notice as the stream comes down through here, you're looking for the seam in the water where the water's gonna move. Hey, we're gonna wanna cast upstream and let it drift past us, getting a more natural drift, catching those fish that are all facing upstream, looking for food to drift past them. So what we wanna do is we wanna cast upstream and know that we're gonna drift. I think I'm about the right depth through here and I'm gonna pop it as I come through, as I drift through the, the river. As long as it's drifting naturally, that trout magnet's natural. And that right there is what happens. First cast, step up to the stream. It wasn't an accident. We had the right equipment, we had the right setup. And whenever you have the right setup and drift the trout magnet naturally, this is what happens. The deal is this, is once you start fishing the system, you start getting confidence. Everywhere you go, all you're doing is changing your depth. It's not that we have a skill, it's that we have the right system and setup to fish a trout magnet. With a trout magnet, I promise, you will outfish anything that's out there, guaranteed. Now, you've never used a trout magnet before. What do you think about it? Did it work all right? It does. <laughs> it really does.